Hi, my name is Zoe Chun. I am an independent curator who was selected as an emerging curator in the Seoul Museum of Art. The Journey of Eternity is an exhibition that has performance as major genres. Its main topic is imaginative time. We introduce this topic through four different subjects. Each of them is presented in a distanced medium. The topic deals mainly with what we call imaginative time. We conceptualize this imaginative time that reaches into eternity as a flow in a different dimension, something we can dream, invent, and look back at ourselves with. Our hope was this vague concept of eternity would give us a room to imagine freely, and that it would make the exhibition environment where the audience could experience. Through these five senses, more than just what is intended by the curator and the participating artists. In the exhibition, eight artists and eight performers present their own individual interpretation called Time Beyond Our Time, that is, the eternity. In addition, to the solid and flat pieces, musicians and dancers actually perform together to stimulate the audience to develop certain imaginations. I hope such a positive stimulus would expand the emotions and moods of audience and feelings that comes to mind at that moment. For the first stage, we have Frame City, which is about a structure of time. The artist Kyung Hwasun presents her film and the installation work, every second in between. Here she shows how a time can become a certain place or a certain relationship. She interprets a city scenery as more than just geography, as a map of psychological state of various people who pass through, live in, observe the city. Dong Geun Lee presents a work where he folds and reshapes a picture to show various dimensions beyond time and space. His artwork series, Frankie's Lover, which is also a pet name of Frankenstein, shows an experimental process of painting's development, where the images are connected, contrasted, and positioned over the time and space. The second stage, Fluid Clock, introduces a flow of time. We've got Kwa Gibu's installation titled Flowerland, Starland, Heaven and Hell. It inspired from folk game of the same name. On it you can see verses from Li Bei's old poem written in Han Seokbong's calligraphy. These verses evoke a touching sentiment for eternity. 
We also have Nicholas Petzer's video installation work titled Soul Always Return to Itself. We can see two extremes of temporality. Here, movement, reminiscence of the human heart, or prehistoric images together with the 3D high technology medium. Third stage, flat staircase, highlights the union and relationship of time. Here we have Han Sem Kim's adventurous epic of the eternity of time through his works, titled Whirlpool and Wave. There is this metaphor, time as a body, and the body is made of water. And this is shown in his work, which connects our time with an abstract time of eternity. Junyeon Best presents a collage of his series of painting works. This title Discoverers, Explorers, and Finder. Here we have an imaginary landscape with images taken from real-world news of disasters. The scenery which is installed at the beginning, the middle, and the end of exhibition shows a hybrid fiction and reality of our time. The fourth and final stage, Flora Rail, is about retrospective of time. Bingyu Song introduces a full process of time through artistic and social point of view, based on the time of night and day, especially the time of the moon. Each painting gives a sculptural interpretation for the information based on reality, with the use of changes in color and images. Suyeon Hwang showcases a sculptural works featuring unspecified creatures floating in space. The work's title gives clues of their characteristics. The work suggests the process in which the paper material becomes three-dimensional, and they allow us to imagine properties like a volume, quantity, or weight as a personalities of metaphorical beings. All of these artworks are stationary by themselves. But I wonder, what if we present these installations and paintings as if they were coming to life, like in the movie or play of a theater scenes?
Moreover, could we use the movement of musicians and performers to make this exhibition more enriching experience? With the power of what is unseen beyond what is seen, with the cues for certain feelings, emotions, moods, and memories. That's what I'm hoping for in this exhibition. I hope you, our audience, could have a time of imagining what an imaginative time could be, especially what it could mean for a time to be eternal, and receive some good stimulations through this performance exhibition, The Journey of Eternity. Thank you.